hey everybody welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are safe and well wherever you are i haven't played a gig in quite a while now but still making these videos so today i wanted to share with you guys a new project i just finished and it's a fender combo amp i've been wanting to build for a good while but i, I chose a very unique speaker combination for this and it's something I've never used before and I think it really has a different sound and, and it may be something that you guys are interested in. So I wanna to talk to you first about how this came about. I've been using a four by 10 combo for quite a while now and it's just really heavy, really loud and sound guys do not like it when you come in with a four by 10 amp. So I put the chassis in a head for a while, but when you have a reverb tank that close to the transformers and stuff, it makes a lot of noise, so I got sick of that. So then I decided to build a two by 10 combo, which would be lighter weight, less headroom, and hopefully the sound guys would like it. Now, as far as the speakers, what I ended up choosing is a JBL E110. That's something I've used for a long time. It's a vintage speaker. A lot of guys used them back in the day. And then I chose a Celestion G10. It's an Alnico speaker. And I've never used a speaker like this in a Fender combo before, but lots of people have talked about using it and getting really good results. So some people are diehard Alnico or ceramic fans. It's definitely a different feel and a different sound. And what I've noticed is that it's kind of more workable at lower volumes. And so I'm only running the amp today, maybe on three to four, but it's a little bit richer, a little bit fuller sound at lower volume. And hopefully you guys can hear that through the video. I wish you could be in the room, but I guess this is the next best thing. So I wanna go ahead and get to playing this for you guys so you can hear the difference. I'm just miking the Celestion, no EQ, no compression, so you can really get an idea of what this sounds like at about three and a half on the volume. Then after that, I'll show you guys the parts that I use to put this whole cabinet together if you wanna build one yourself. And we can talk a little bit more about what's behind this amplifier. So here it is, this is the 68 Super Reverb and a Celestion G10 Gold. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and listening this far. Drop me a comment and let me know if you can hear a difference in the sound. I really do feel it's a little bit fuller, a little bit richer sound. It's not as harsh as some of the high powered speakers that I've used in the past. And I'm kind of getting getting tired of having to run my amps on six or seven and, and using earplugs to get the tone that I'm looking for. So I think it's a little bit of a different sound but I think at lower volume, it does give you more to work with. Some other things to note about this setup, I'm using two tens at eight ohms each, so combined it's a four ohm load, and this is a super reverb, it wants to see two ohms, so that's a little bit of an impedance mismatch, and I'm sure a lot of you will comment down below whether my amp is gonna explode or whether it's completely safe. I'm not an expert in this and I've done what research I can, but from what I understand, 
These amps can be run at a 50% mismatch and they're still gonna operate. I haven't noticed any loss really in tone or even headroom and I'm sure it's gonna be a controversial thing, but you know, Fender came with an external speaker jack on the amplifiers from the factory, so they were kind of designed to most likely be run with a impedance mismatch. So of course, if you have better information on that, leave a comment on this video. So if you wanna build something like this for yourself, I used a Vibroverb cabinet because the Super does not fit in a Vibrolux. It does not fin fit in a twin reverb cabinet. So you have to make something unique. Now Vibroverb is the same chassis size, but it's a little bit smaller cab. And so the only problem is that would come with a 15 inch speaker. So I created my own baffle and made a two by 10. You can buy a half inch sheet of pine from Home Depot or Lowe's for about 10 bucks. I painted the one side and stained the other because I wanted kind of that wood look from the back. And then it's a matter of cutting it down to size, cutting a couple holes to mount the speakers. And then it's just a little bit of work from there to get everything to fit. And you know, putting your reverb tank in, running those cables, then then plugging everything in and, and screwing it down. So it was definitely a day's work to get this thing completed. But I think in the long run, it'll definitely be worth it for me using it live. So once again, guys, drop me a comment if you like the speaker, if you've ever used the speaker. If you heard a sound difference, I'd really like to hear your opinion. I know it's difficult through a YouTube video to try to hear all of those nuances, but we try. So I hope you guys stick around, check out some more videos. I've got some cool guitars coming that I've been working on. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Dove video, I did that earlier this week, an update on that. And then I've got the pickups for the Bigsby Telly, so I'm gonna be finishing that up this weekend and a couple more guitars as well that you guys have not seen. So really appreciate all of you guys. I hope you stay well. Y'all take it easy, okay? Peace.